So this next car is a 1974 Triumph GT6 and by any standards this car could be described as exceptional. A full nut and bolt restoration taking over seven years and done to the highest of standards. It was also upgraded in the process. If, if you look at the website description you'll see that the performance on the rolling road of this particular car exceeds the manufacturer's specification when new. It's an absolute peach of a car. Let me go around it and show you some of the detail. Now in the distant past I was once an Austin Rover general sales manager and whilst I never sold the GT6 as new I did sell the Triumph Spitfire as new and I can tell you that in terms of factory finish this car is as good as they were when they were brand new. If I had a brand new Triumph Spitfire in the showroom in 1980, the paintwork would be no better than this. It's absolutely stunning. And I can't imagine ever seeing an engine bay nicer than this one. All the detail of it is just perfect. Every nut, bolt, washer and screw that you look at everything is perfection So a quick drive down a national speed limit road so that you can hear it go through the gears. This is overdrive now. On the Triumph the overdrives work on second, third and fourth gears. But in practice you only really need it in fourth. Occasionally you might be overtaking in third and you know, sort of run out of uh, revs. Uh, want to do a very quick change, you can do that by flicking to third overdrive. I'll demonstrate that when I come back. Very nice and smooth. Positive on the steering. have a slightly more spirited drive back so that you can hear how it goes. So that's third, third overdrive. Coming up to a bend, flick it out of overdrive now. Absolutely beautiful. Out of overdrive again now. So that's fourth non overdrive. Third 